Holy moly. Wow. I got a bunch of... What the heck? I got a bunch of birds saying goodbye, I guess. What the, I don't have any food, you guys. You know they're crapping right now. No, get off. Get off. <laughs> Holy cow. That was pretty, but yeah, I don't want a bunch of crap up there. That was wild. Hi, we're Mark and Mel. After raising four amazing daughters who are now raising our 12 grandchildren and helping people on land in the real estate business for over 30 years, we're now realizing our goal of a year-long adventure cruising America's Great Loop on our boat, Paradise. This is a 6,000-mile journey through waterways that include the Atlantic and Gulf Intercoastal Waterways, Great Lakes, Canadian Heritage Canals, and inland rivers of America's Midwest cities. Join us as we navigate over 100 locks, explore cities large and small, and experience an unforgettable journey through America's Great Lake. Well, we're saying goodbye to Apalachicola. Great little town. Mel's talking about moving here when we're done with the loop. And again, she talks about moving to every town we see along the loop, I think. Heading over to Carabelle, which is where we're going to likely spend Christmas. <laughs> we're getting each other. We're getting video of each other. <laughs> We are out in St. George Bay, uh, just outside of Apalachicola. That is our, our friend Summer Fling up ahead of us there, and you can see those that strip of land right there. That's St. George Island. Beyond that, the Gulf of Mexico, but we are going to the left, to the port side. And there's our route right there. I'm not sure if this will show up or not. See that? But that's where we're going to Carabelle, about a little less than 30 miles. So, what is today? The 22nd? 20, 24th? No, 20. What is today? 23rd. Do you want me to answer? Yeah. Just want to keep yeah. This. <laughs> it's the 22nd. Oh, it's I only think. the 22nd. No, it's the 23rd. Yes, oh, 23rd. So, tomorrow oh, is Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. What do you want for Christmas? You. Aww. I get that every year, you guys. It's awesome. So, but I think we have this as our Christmas present this year. It's doing America's Great Loop. We're actually doing it, honey. We're doing it. Yeah. We've been doing awesome. it for a little over two months. Merry Christmas.
Mark backed <coughs> backed into this for the first time. It was he backed into a slip. I did. First time with this boat. And it went really well. And this is a beautiful sunset view in Carabelle. We just walked down to the store. The little grocery store is only like within one block down that road right there. And uh, then there is a restaurant over there. I don't know if you can see, but if I zoom in, there's a restaurant up there. We're going to go check out. They have live music on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, it's a beautiful day in a beautiful bay at Carabelle. Good job, Captain. Good job, Admiral. <laughs>
we are at the Carabell Bottle House, and the gate says open to the public. Come on in, don't let the dogs out. Don't see any dogs yet. Little bitty house made from bottles and concrete, it looks like. And a uh, lighthouse, also made of bottles and concrete. Interesting. That must have taken a long time. Bunch of solar panels over here. And a garden of sorts. Yeah. Interesting. Hey, it's supposed to rain a little later, so we'll have to probably stop our bike ride soon. Well, Merry Christmas from Carabell, Florida. Very rainy Christmas morning here. Been coming down since about 10 o'clock last night. But we're tucked in nice and dry inside the boat. Great little town, Carabell. Coming down. Merry Christmas, huh? <laughs> Christmas morning in Carabelle, Florida. Some crazy heavy winds and rain. Sustained winds in the 40 mile an hour range right now with gusts all the way into the 60s. Wow. We're tied pretty securely here at uh, Sea Quarters Marina. Waiting this out. Here on the other side is bent over. Hey man, well, how can we help you, Roger? We're gonna try and get a light over in that dock. How can I help you? We can, we can get a fender right off between us so we don't get Just one more fender, baby. Okay. Crazy stuff going on here this morning. Christmas Day, the piling of the big uh, wooden poles that we tie off to on the other side of this boat, more next to us, broke loose. It's completely busted. It was swung in and never made contact with ours, fortunately. So that moment I was handling it just fine. Got some craziness going on here this morning. 40 to 60 mile an hour winds coming right down the channel. 
and our neighbor boat there, that piling just in front of his bow there on the uh, port side, it actually busted. It came loose and his boat swung in toward ours. Fortunately, we had fenders out there that kept it from making contact and they just tied it to a piling over on the next dock over and successfully pulled it away. Used his windlass to do that. Doing pretty good between these two piers posts, but uh, uh, you can see this other pier. I don't know if you can see there, but it broke off. And it is in the wind, and it is actually, that's why that boat was coming next to us, is because that pier right there is um, now over, on, almost on its side. And it's almost touching the boat. The other one next to there is still um, good. Ours are still good. But he had to take that line all the way over to the shore um, and replace it to pull back his boat away from this pier post. Uh, and that one is still falling towards his boat. So not a good thing. I'm, oh, it is so close. Uh, I think it's going, oh, it went down in, there it goes, in the water. Down in the water. Oh my gosh. It is down in front of his boat. Well, at least it's not going to fall on his boat. I have no clue when it's going to go down, down there, but I'm going to go tell them. So we had some real craziness this morning, Christmas Day. Our neighbor boat here was tied up to that piling right there, which used to be on that side of his boat. And the wind's coming from that direction and uh, heavy, heavy winds. Right now there's sustained winds of about 30. Uh, they're saying gusts up to 62 in the next couple hours. But um, that piling broke loose below the waterline. Appears to still be attached. But it used to be, that used to be, like I said, on the other side of the boat there. And so he has since uh, tied to that piling across the way over there by the gas dock, fuel dock. And uh, when, it, when it broke loose earlier, he swung this direction. The wind pushed him into us. But we did have this one fender out right there, which was just in the right spot. So uh, I think we got a picture possibly of the boats uh, almost together, but no damage done, thankfully. And uh, Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Day and it's raining like crazy. We're having a nice cozy Christmas, drying our clothes from being out in the rain, dealing with the winds, watching movies. We were supposed to go to a um, potluck at two. That's our tree. And those are our stockings. Those are our Christmas cards to each other. But um, I don't know if we're gonna, maybe it'll calm down by two. But it was crazy. I mean it's the rain stopped now. The winds are subsiding a little. But uh, that that pole down there that tipped over, that uh, pier that our neighbor was uh, tied to, is almost underwater. And uh, the, the marina people know about it, so they'll be doing something soon, I'm sure. And he's got his boat nicely tied to the main pier way over there on the dock. So um, it's nice and stable now, and it's away from our boat, which is always a good thing, because it got right up next to our boat, and uh, we, good thing we had lots of fenders. So where's the... Is it going to keep raining? <laughs> you were just looking. Can you show me uh, the weather? I, it's crazy. It is crazy. There is... Well, there's 
100 mile an hour gusts just uh, 20 or 30 miles offshore in the Gulf right now. And so it's and a good we've thing. Got, go ahead. We've got sustained winds of 35 miles an hour and gusts up to about 60 here in Carabell. So it's a good thing we are not out in the Gulf. We'll stay here in Carabell as long as it takes. Right now, Wendy is reporting 54 mile an hour gusts, and by one o'clock, 62 mile an hour gusts. Yikes. Right here. Right here? We are there. Yikes. What's this supposed to be like tomorrow? Nice. Nice? Yeah, possible crossing day, as a matter of fact. Wow. It's unbelievable how drastic it could change here. So, we'll just have a quiet time inside here, just hanging out, watching movies. A day of movie watching. Right? Sure. <laughs>